What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial, Monster vs. Today, Shin Godzilla vs. Godzilla. So, versus series, I'm on landscape paper, I do quite big just for the camera, but you could do an A3, A4 if you're using a pencil, which I highly recommend. Don't do these with ink first, you should probably sketch it out with pencil first, you know, use your razor if you make any mistakes, and yeah, that's kind of the best way to do that. Okay, so we'll start with Shin over here, right? So real big wide mouth on this guy, right? And his slender neck. So he's like kind of above Godzilla, kind of looking down. Godzilla's like here, right? So where to begin? So lots of bumps and texture and everything on this guy, right? And teeth and he's gnarly looking, right? So his head is like right up here near the top of my page right so and we'll start with his big sort of frown right goes over his eye so we'll frown we'll curve it around here right starting here like a letter c sort of shape and then this is going to bump like lots of texture now on this so like scaly kind of thing going on right so bumps down this way nearly goes joins the back of his jaw it probably will actually so then we go around, curve over his eyeball, because he's got this like real round eyeball. And then it got, like bumps again this way. Going down here, right? And again, you can add as much sort of texture and, and like scales and all this kind of stuff as you want, like all these lines. Because he looks like he's made of like rock or something. So it's just all textured and crazy like that. So then his eye, like just a round ball, basically. So it's like a circle nearly here, right? So it just like goes around like this. Right, like that. And he's kind of looking down. And it looks like he has kind of a snake-like eye, right? So and he's looking down. So we want it to be at the bottom of the eye. So that kind of thing. Right? So kind of a lined eye. And then, so he's got an eyelid line here. Comes around there. And then he has these lines that come around underneath, right? So these sort of bumping kind of cheek lines kind of thing going this way, right? All around his eye. And it touches, one goes this way as well. And these have like lots of texture and bumps and cracks and things on them, like all wrinkled. Goes up towards his nose this way as well. Some more lines down towards his mouth. So lots of this sort of stuff. And then there's more detail in around his eye here. much of this now as you want to add you can so his snout then comes out the front and it's again it's like a bumping wrinkly sort of thing and then we have the front of his sort of mouth kind of line here it's like his top lip or something there and then this will Curve down, right, and this will kind of be real bumpy again. All his teeth kind of come out here, and every now and then you have a tooth coming out from like his his face, so a real bumpy line. And then this comes down to the back of his jaw. Which will go up around his face here. And this, like I said, this will go back and join like the back of his eye, like this way. It goes like in here. Like that. Okay. And we make this all sort of wrinkly and bumpy and all this kind of stuff. So lots of sort of texture on this. Some of these actually join these kind of ridges on his face here. So as much 
to this sort of texture now as you want. So I'll join this here, maybe come over this way. Can't see his nostril, it's like at the front in here somewhere, so. You can only sort of see the. The wrinkles on his face. Right, kind of like that. So that's roughly the shape for like the top of his head. So bottom jaw, right? So we'll, yeah, we'll do that. So it like comes out from here. Now it's real wide, right? So like again, bumping sort of wrinkly kind of thing. Not sort of a straight line at all. Like that, right? And then it kind of around this way like so lots of wrinkles and stuff there and then it comes down from the corner of his mouth again bumping Keyword here, lots of bumps and wrinkles and textures and stuff. That do do do. Can have as much texture now as you want, really. Okay. So in here then we have teeth and then we can see some of the back of his mouth over here. So he's loads of teeth. We're just gonna basically add loads of teeth coming down from his gum line here, right? So many, like crazy amount. So like some of them can be in behind others. We might have one or two like that actually come down from his face here. Like little teeth on his face, it's weird. this kind of stuff you know and then just more teeth coming down here real big and down from his gum even you know some some places you can see his gum like here some teeth stick out like that you know and you can see some in behind you know on the other side of his face on the like around the side down there this kind of thing okay and you just you basically just keep doing that yeah and then you might see some coming out the other side of his gun Teeth behind teeth, top of teeth, <laughs> loads of teeth. Yeah. It goes pretty far back into his mouth, actually. And then <laughs> there's one on the one on the skin part here. Hmm. Interesting. Cool design. I know I've drawn it before, but when his mouth opens, it's a different kind of thing. All right, and then he's got this like skin fold just kind of in here, a couple of them, right? So there's like this flap. down here kind of to the middle of his jaw there it's like some more sort of lines on that stretch lines just going back that way and it kind of goes in behind his teeth so again we've got like more teeth here those sh sharp thin sort of you know you would not want to get bit by these it would rip you up they look like needles nearly this 
since we're coming back this way. We get some on actually the outer skin. And we'll go quite far up his mouth here. You know, and if you go over any lines that you should, you know, see underneath, you can just raise them or color over them. So coming out from say about here, right? So we have his gum line sort of on the other. He's got this real wide stretched out sort of mouth. So you can see the other side quite easily. So it comes around there. It's like, and there's like some texture lines on the gum just going around here. Can't see his tongue. He just has this sort of flap. You know, his mouth opens wide and then So, back of his head then, you can just see these sort of bumps coming down this way. Like all this stuff coming in here. And then we go down his neck and you might have like some, you know, some spikes and things as we go down the neck just some spiking sort of lines going down this way. Like that, so the front of his neck then, let's say like a bumpy line just underneath. The front of his neck, it's right here. And this has all texture on it. That's like the back of his head. So this will have loads of texture and stuff. Right like that. Like so, and then the front of his neck roughly comes down this way. Now he has lots of um, these sorts of texture lines on his neck and he has this sharp sort of collarbone that sticks out here we'll just get the general shape in so this collarbone sticks out this way and it comes down here and then this collarbone will go kind of this way but it has like threads that go down from this right so around like here And then we seem to meet his shoulder sort of here somewhere. Comes around like so. And then the top of the collarbone. So like these necklines come down from it. So this would do so like these neck. Grant, I'll just edit it. Uh, right. Um, so then, so coming from like his neck muscles, right? So he's got like these ropey sort of neck muscle things going on. So this like comes down this way, right? Comes down and around like this, joins here. And it comes from the back of his head and his jaw, right? So like we'll go. here around it just kind of comes down joins the collarbone thing here right so this has all texture and stuff on it so this collarbone comes around here 
this will have like all these lines that come around it this sort of texture just to show that it sort of goes around his neck kind of here right and again there's all sorts of texture and stuff all in here as well and then that goes up and then it goes around this is another sort of roping sort of arching kind of part to his neck right and then so shoulder there and maybe like another line coming down this way right so he has also these lines underneath his throat right so it's kind of like Godzilla's kind of vents kind of thing so it like goes up and down up around here so these like glow red when he's about to kind of fire his atomic energy right so you'll just add some of these here kind of like that texture and stuff and then on these right so like this is like dark shadow inside right because this is sort of this roping sort of part right and this will have all this texture coming around because you and you want to curve it in each side right so you want to like act like it's like a rope or you know what i mean so it like goes across curves over like that all this texture so it kind of gives it that sort of feel like it's coming up off the page right and then he has more of these red lines in this section here so these go like this way right all the way down so it's like they come in underneath his muscles all here okay and there's loads of them right so as much as we can That. and then this is another kind of roping one so it's got like to, to give it sort of a shape you know you'll add so like texture like this again you know and you can add dots and lines and stuff it's just curving over like so Try and make him look as bumpy and kind of gnarly as you. Like that, and then there's like some texture on this side as well. You know, scales and things and on his shoulder we got some texture going that way then at the back of his head here so we we have those sort of you know um godzilla has them as well there's like these fins that go around the back of his head so they start like right at the top of his head kind of here right and then just start like kind of spikes first but then they become these like coral sort of shapes they look like um like coral that's under the sea so like how do we begin so like this right they're kind of like natural sort of things like this right and then you could have these lines like veins coming up and they like glow red as well when he's about to shoot and yeah and you just kind of keep adding stuff like this
end here. So there's ones in behind each other, you know. Like that, and then something else here. You just keep kind of building it up until you're happy or you can't really fit in anymore. So right to the edge of my page now, whatever I can fit in. Right, but I think that'll do. So, I'll just darken up some areas like underneath his jaw, make his head sort of stand out a little bit more. Maybe like another sort of bump here, like some more sort of. But generally, that's it. That's Shin Godzilla. Right, so we'll go over and do our normal Godzilla guy. So, let's get images. Okay. So, again, we start with his frown, right? And he's kind of, Shin's looking down at him, right? So, we start with his sort of frowning head. So, we'll go through here, right? And then this will curve this way. We'll come back to a section back here and this kind of nearly goes back all the way to the horns at the back of his head right so it goes quite far and then it'll go around this way like so so this kind of shape and then this will have like texture and stuff all over as much as you want nearly not as bumpy as Shin, right? Kind of, he is fairly bumpy, but just not as bad. And then he's got this section that comes out from his eye. It comes around. And this will kind of go back up into here, right? And then her eye is in there. So it's like small kind of eye. And it's more like a human eye rather than the round sort of eye of Shin Godzilla. And then another sort of lizard-like eye like that. And then in here, we've got like lots of texture and stuff all coming around, right? So top eyelid, bottom eyelid underneath, all this kind of. Right, like so. And then his snout comes out the front. And he's a real sort of square nose, right? So it comes down like so. He has another bump just for the other side of his forehead here. And then his mouth, I've drawn Godzilla so many times. His mouth comes back. It's kind of, I just know how to do it now. So his mouth comes back this way. Right, kind of bumping back like so and then we can see his gum underneath here right so he's got like another extra sort of bumping line for his gum comes around like so okay and then he's got a nostril there like that and this will have some texture lines around it as well As much of this now as you want. Right. So the back of his jaw joins these three sort of spiking sections, right? It's the only way to describe them. So we go like point here, right? And then it curves, goes up to the next one here, and then we curve again. 
and this one kind of goes into his head there, right? The bottom of his jaw comes around here. We'll add all texture and stuff inside here as well, but we'll just get the main shape in, down like so. And then this will go around and up. It'll sort of flatten square again. And then top of his jaw here comes down like so and meets the front just there like that so then on this part of his head right we've got like this sort of line that comes like his cheek i don't know what you'd call it but it's like his cheek line comes around and goes up kind of joins back this spike back into there and then he has another one that kind of comes down this way a lot of these sort of wrinkle lines and then kind of go back there, right? So maybe like a few more sort of textury sort of wrinkles that will go like towards the front of his mouth, and then like the line on his lip just there. And we'll add some wrinkles and stuff on his top lip. And then he's a bit of a skin line just coming down from his mouth, like so. And then some more uh, texture on these sorts of things, like these wrinkly sort of, you, know, you want to make them sort of wrinkly and kind of, and all these lines coming, coming up his skin. Kind of like that, right? And then this has sort of some wrinkles on it as well. And you know, you can add like scales and dots and dirt and stuff like that. Right, so then teeth, right? So he's got, he doesn't have as many teeth as Shin Godzilla and they're kind of shorter as well. So you just add teeth like, kind of like that. They're kind of like stumpy. sort of sharp, sharp teeth. Kind of like that. And then, so his tongue, I'll come out here, I'm doing the tongue first, because it's kind of like, sits above his teeth, sort of, goes back into there and then maybe like a tongue line like so and then the other side of his mouth we can see like a piece of skin or something there and then so teeth on this side so like a couple of teeth real small maybe like you can see a little bit of his gum but not much like mostly just small teeth like that and then like texture lines just on his bottom lip there skin lines right and then we can see some of his mouth on the other side underneath the tongue here and they have some teeth coming around as well So, and then some lines on the inside of his mouth. Like that, and some scales and more texture lines and things. All over his bottom jaw. So, his neck, right, comes down from his jaw. So we go sort of this way, right? And it, this one just curves down here right and it joins his chest then there's all these um like armor plating and stuff here but we'll just get so that's the bottom of his neck and we'll just the top of his head comes out here and just goes back off my page rather flat right so like, like that all right like so 
and then so front of his sort of chest right so like here and then we go down for around his belly armor right so we've got like he does have like this sort of turtle shell like thing going on like that and then like these are like they look like ab lines but they're they're actually armor right so kind of like a turtle shell so like what i mean is like this kind of thing Big sort of armor there, right? And these can have texture on them as well. Mostly going across. Right, like so. And we can see his sort of chest goes up this way. Right. Like that. And then his shoulder down that way and then his arm so sticking up that line and then his arm comes out here and then his forearm up and down that way forearm here up and down that way right and then so there can be like texture all over his skin right so you know, like the easiest way I find to do Godzilla's textures, just do these kind of lines like this first, curving around, right? Curving around your shape. Like imagine the direction of a shape. Like this, right? And then whatever direction you've done those lines, you just do kind of the opposite. So you'll go straight this way, kind of like scales, right? Kind of just the easy way. Yeah, kind of like that. And then you do the opposite then on these. Like that, just to give them a sort of feel for scales and stuff. And you don't have to do too much. That's enough. So, right, that neck armor then. So coming down just from here, right, you'll just draw like the front of his neck here so it's kind of like this stuff but it'll go sort of this way like this kind of snaking sort of line like that and then if you want, you can put some texture going this way. Right, kind of like that. And then, so, well, so that's his chest. So then at the bottom of that, you can kind of see it's, oh yeah, we've got to add like some more sort of texture on his chest. He's got like a collarbone going this way, right? So texture coming down around his chest here and you'll do the opposite. Lines like so. And then he has three layers of of spikes coming back this way, right? So you'll go from, from this one, right? So you'll go back like this, right? Just going all the way back. Like that, and another one. Like, and you know, you can give them parts where they go into his head like that, right? You're just adding these sort of spiking levels. Like so give it a bottom and if you want you know you can make them kind of like pyramids kind of 3d sort of things and then just adding lines like 
ones like that. And then you do the same thing on this one. So just spiking. All right, and if you want, you can make them 3D by drawing them like a pyramid. That. And then in between, we have some texture lines that go curving around like this. Kind of these vents or skin sort of lines, like just come around his head like so. And then some texture up here, going that way. Like that. And then he has gills coming down from his neck, okay? So, like say, nearly touching the armor here we'd start, right? So this like curves around, goes real big around here. And goes up towards there. And then we just do that on each one. And depending on how much room you have, you know, you can do as much. But they get gradually smaller. As we go up to here, a little small one maybe there. And right, we'll just darken up around underneath. Add a bit of a shadow to the bottom, just to make him look like they're raised up off his neck. And then we can add a little bit of texture to these, right? Because they're supposed to be like fish-like gills, right? So you'll just add some lines around here. Just to give him an edge, bumpy kind of edge, and then some stuff going, you know, this way. And then some texture out here. It's all about the texture with these creatures. It really brings them to life. Then, so we can see a couple of these back here, not a lot, like just where they start sort of on the top of his head, like just here. So we start with kind of standard sort of spiking little ones here. And then we start to see some more coral like shapes this way. Going out that way, right? all we can really see of those on Godzilla. A few more room, of course. Feel free to add more. But that's all I can fit. Uh, that's it. Is that everything? Have I missed anything? No. That is how to draw Shin Godzilla versus Godzilla. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, share. See you in the next one. Bye.